I combine the two, a music shop and obviously lessons for music. Event space. Well, uh, it's just to make it a viable business, basically. Uh, the, the music shop that um, Christine does, I don't think. Um, well, it's a quiet village, so to make it solely on sales uh, would be quite difficult unless you run an internet business as well, which you might do in the future. Um, but we're both musicians, me and my partner Louise are both musicians. Louise is a qualified school teacher. So, um, yeah, that, that's, that was the idea, that was the business plan. To <laughs> How did you get involved with the ukulele group? Um, my wife bought me a birthday present of six lessons, right? um, and that was about a year ago, so I've been coming most weeks since then. So why lessons in Hot Banana? Why, why this place? Well, I live about three minutes walk away, right? um, and it's a great place to come. I mean, I've I've had lessons with Louise and with Steve and they're really good teachers, it's a good group of people um, and great spot. To play on a Friday. Yeah. Um, what's the difference between that group and the the anarchy? Um, well, I, I started going on the Friday because I wanted to. I didn't want to come on the Saturday because I know how how fast they play. So I wanted to learn a few chords at least before I started coming here on the Saturday. And Louise, it's it's more of a taught lesson on a Friday, so you kind of. Um, well, well, learning a few here. more intricacies, yeah. I suppose, no, 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 no. and, and being taught the chords, whereas it's more of a group session on a Saturday. So on the Friday I kind of learn a bit, on the Saturday I kind of learn how to play fast. <laughs> how do you feel performing here? How do I feel? Yeah, like a small group like this in the room. Well, it, it doesn't really feel like performing, really. Um, it's just sort of because you get, um, I think, it's also loud. You kind of don't feel like you stand out at all. I think that's the beauty of the ukulele, really. It's, it works really well as a group instrument. And because you're all sort of playing the same um, chords, um, you kind of getting with the rhythm of everybody else, so you're sort of one of a whole rather than just one of your folks. Let's do some hearty licks. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Why do you think that is? Uh, well, I think people shop local. I think they use the local shops and businesses. Uh, and it's a very community-based thing that we're running. It's very community-based, as in the people that come to the groups. Sometimes people travel from different areas and, and, and travel a bit of a distance, but it's, it's, it's very much sort of local people that get involved. <laughs>
What do you think of Louise as a teacher? <laughs> what do you think? You don't know, you like her? You like Louise, don't you? She's a good teacher. Yeah, you like Steve. You learn you, lots you? from Louise, don't you? What do you learn? Um, well, I was one of the first people in the group, wasn't I? Yeah. And I, and I don't think anybody else is you in the group and read the song. Which song? Um, Strum, 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 you go. You haven't done that for a while. You haven't done it, you haven't done it since anybody, you haven't done it and since we've been off. No, so what do you think to Louise as a teacher? Um, I think she's a good teacher. She's a good teacher. So what do you think of Louise and Steve? Oh, I think they're fantastic. Yeah. They're going to see this, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, yeah, yeah. I think they've brought an amazing, um, amazing lot to home for. And um, I think I'm very, very, very dull place as well. Obviously, not dull, I don't think I've ever been dull, but it would be a much duller place as well. They enhance our lives in measure of way, I think, by creating these groups and bringing music to people who are not necessarily. Do you think it helps bring the Home Firth community closer? Yes, definitely.